Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to change the material in game instead of the mesh using the skin mesh renderer still. Now a viewer wanted me to show you how to do that so that's what I'm going to do in this video. So you could add the script anywhere you pretty much want but I'm going to create an empty game object and I'm going to name it material changer. I'm going to zero it out and I'm going to add a script called change material. Now I'm going to open up that script and I'm just going to delete everything besides the update function because I know I'm going to use that. So I'm going to put serialized field because I wanted to show in the inspector but I don't want it to be public because I'm not going to access it anywhere else or in any other script. And I'm going to add skin mesh renderer. This is going to be mesh renderer to use. So this is going to be the skin mesh renderer that we're going to actually change. And then I'm going to add a serialized field material. And this is going to be the material we're going to use to actually change during runtime. So now we're going to add a public void. The reason I'm adding a public void is just in case you want to make a button real quick you have to make sure it is public if you do not want to make a, a button so if you don't want to attach this to an unclick event just write void like this and you can name your function I'm gonna name it change material on mesh and then and then all I'm gonna type is mesh renderer to use dot material equals material to use now if you go over this word right here you can see it says returns the first instantiated material assigned to the renderer so let's go back and let me show you what that means so let's say we go to the male body and we go to his head now on the head you can see the materials right here now if there's let's say two materials or even three materials and you know they could all be different or whatever it will get the first material in this list which would be material zero so if you just have one material you can leave it like this but let's say you have multiple materials you could let's say you wanted to change this material right here so the second material you would have to add this these brackets and just type in the material that you would like to change but it's not material material but materials so just add materials and then the the number you would like to change of the material so it could be material two three whatever but it starts at zero so the first material would be zero and you could also do let's say you wanted to use the same material for for all let's say you want to use one material and you have five or four materials that you could actually change instead of you know doing materials like this maybe copy and pasting it if I can so instead of doing all this and putting you know one two all that you could just do a for loop real quick and that way it will change it change all of them for you so just put four and then change right here to mesh renderer to use dot material materials dot length so it will get all the materials in that mesh renderer and then all you have to do is add mesh renderer to use dot materials then you add the brackets right here put the i put dot or equals materials to use and then that would get all your materials in that mesh renderer and set it to that one material that you want to use if you're using multiple then yeah you would have to do what i just said earlier which was i go back was pretty much set each one and you could set them individually now with all that being said let's just see how this works so for this to work in this example i'm gonna check if i hit the space key so i'm gonna put input dot get key down and then space in parentheses or key code dot space key code dot space and then the curly brackets then change material on mesh parentheses and then just the semicolon you could also just set this down here if you want it doesn't really matter as long as it's in the curly bracket so now when we save it we go to the game let me erase these in case it gives us an error let's go to the material changer we're going to add the head so we want to change the head's material and then the material we're going to use i'm just going to use this blue material which is called the eyes and then i'll just hit play now when i hit the space button it should change the material so for some reason it wasn't working. So let me just set this instead of using material zero. Let me just put dot material. That way it grabs the first instant of the of the material on the skin mesh renderer. Now if I hit space, there you go. Now it turns blue. So you would actually have to use material, I guess, to get the first instant. But if you want to change 
if it has multiple ones, you would have to actually use material instead of dot material. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you want to continue to see more tutorials like this. And once again, thank you guys.